What's good, my lovelies, and welcome to my channel, Lovely Soul Empress. Today, I'm going to be doing Taurus's love reading from November 2nd to the 8th. Uh, if you're looking for a private reading, my information will be in the description box. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you'll find me at Lovely Soul Empress. Just a quick announcement. Today and tomorrow is the final days for my uh, live reading sale, $60 for a live uh, hour of a reading. Um, after that, the prices will change. So if you book before, um, by tomorrow, the price will hold. Okay. So, um, as always, I have prayed, shuffled and meditated on the decks. I did get the Knight of Swords. Okay. So I feel like you might've gotten to an argument with somebody. Okay. Uh, I also got the Knight of Cups. I feel like, uh, they're offering you their love. And I also got the Ace of, uh, Wands. So it's a lot of passion here. Okay. So, um, I'm going to pull a seven card spread and then I'm going to ask what their true uh, feelings is, what their true intentions is and the uh, final outcome. Okay. And then I'll go through the, the 12 signs. Okay. So uh, spirit, can you show me what you have for my Taurus gang, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, most important messages they need to know right now, spirit for their highest good. For Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, most important messages, spirit. For Taurus, ever so grateful and thankful for the gifts and the blessings. Please use me as your vessel, spirit. Please allow those benevolent ancestors and spirit guides to come through and bring forth the messages for my Taurus gang. Uh, spirit, I need one more, spirit, one more. Please take us into the white light of protection, spirit, as we uh, get the messages for my Taurus gang, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups. That's the overall energy. Okay, so you got the Eight of Coins as the heart of the matter. You got the Knight of Swords in reverse with the High Priestess and the Knight of Coins. Your partner has the Empress with the Eight of Cups and the Emperor. Hmm. And then the Queen of Cups is the overall energy. Uh, we're going to jump right in and start to clarify. Spirit, why is this Eight of Coins here at the heart of the matter for my Taurus gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, most important messages. They need to know right now, Spirit, for their highest good. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so um, the Eight of Coins, uh, I feel like um, both of you could be uh, hard workers. And you might both be working on this relationship. Then you have um, the King of Pentacles came out next, which is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This is you. Okay. Um, this is someone who has a lot of wisdom. Um, very good with money. And considers the quintessential husband. Doesn't matter of the sex. Okay. We're not talking about genders. Okay. So uh, even for the females, like you're a boss. You're on top of it. Okay. I'm getting masculine energy. And that's not negative, okay? That means that you are working from your solar plexus, okay? You're going after the things that you want. Now, here is the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, but it came out in reverse. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Uh, I told you in the pre-shuffle, I saw the Knight of Swords in the upright, okay? And when you see the King of Swords in the reverse, he's a bit of an ass, okay? He's kind of narcissistic. He's difficult, um, mood swings, that type of thing. Okay, so this person is working from their lower energy, okay, um, and they may not be cutting out the things that no longer serve them, so we will take a look at that, okay? Now you have the Knight of Swords um, here. Actually, I'm going to get one more spirit. Let me get one more. Let me get one more spirit. Yeah, but it's both your wish fulfillment to make this relationship work, which I had a feeling. Okay, so the Knight of Swords in reverse, Spirit. I'm already feeling like you, this person might have said something to you that you didn't like. And rather than arguing with them, you were just like, yeah, okay, whatever. I'm not even beat for this shit. Um, Knight of Swords in reverse, Spirit, for my Taurus gang. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Most important messages they need to know right now. For uh, Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So 
So the Knight of Swords in reverse, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You do kind of have some of that energy here. You got the Knight of Swords in reverse, right? Um, so like I said, I feel like some, somebody said something to you. Probably this King of Swords came out his mouth or her mouth, right? And I feel like your attitude was like, you know what? I'm not even going to respond to that um, because I would hurt your feelings, and then you threw yourself into work. Eight of Pentacles. And then here's the Emperor. This is uh, Aries, but this is also Taurus. Taurus. You could be dealing with an Aries or another Taurus, but I feel like this is your energy right here. Uh, you're like, I'm, I'm not even going to respond to a knight. I'm the Emperor. Like, why would I even um, bother with that, right? Um, now you have the High Priestess, Spirit. Why is this High Priestess here for my Taurus gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Most important messages they need to know right now, Spirit. Why is this High Priestess here? Okay, so the High Priestess is a uh, Piscean energy. Okay, sometimes Virgo too. Um, you could be dealing with either one of those signs, but the high priestess doesn't take action. Okay, she's observant. She's tapping into her intuition. She's not speaking. So you, like I said, that same energy. You're like, I'm just watching you. I know what it, what's good already, right? And then here's the strength card, card of Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo. Um, I feel like um, it wasn't that easy for you to keep your uh, mouth shut. Um, I feel like you really did want to respond, but you felt like that would be lowering yourself, spirit. Can I get one more for this high priestess and the strength card? One more for the high priestess and the strength card and the tower. Yeah. You're like, I will let this, um, what's the song? Let the motherfucker burn. You were like, yeah, I, we could let this shit burn down for all I care. Not saying that you don't love them, but you were not about to get off your um, off your square to entertain the King of Swords in reverse, talking shit. Knight of Coins, Spirit. Why is this Knight of Coins here? Let me get one more. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So the Knight of Coins is uh, Gemini, I mean, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, right? So I feel like this person now is offering you something. This could be you, but not with that. Nope. Um, they're offering you something tangible. They're, they could be calling you, like, could we go on a date? I'd like to talk to you. I, you know, I want to work on this collaboration. But they broke your heart in the past, and you're like, hmm. Uh, fool me once, right? And then here's the Ace of pen of um, Wands, which I told you I saw in the pre-shuffle. They're telling you that they're very passionate about you. This also could have all started because you discovered that they were using their wand somewhere else and it was heartbreaking, right? But here's the apology. They're, they're telling you, I'm so sorry. And then here's um, Justice, which is Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra, but this is saying like, I'm ready to bring in balance now. You know, I know I didn't treat you fairly. Right? Now you have the Empress, which is also the card of Taurus and Libra. So I'm getting Libra energy with the um, Knight, uh, King of Swords in reverse as well. Knight of Swords, that, you know, heavy um, air energy, but heavy Libra energy too. So Spirit, why is this Empress here for Taurus's partner? Thank you, Spirit. So the Empress, like I said, is Taurus or Libra. This is the mother of the world, the mother of creativity. creativity, And um, she is the embodiment of all four queens. Okay, so I feel like they're saying they see you as the Empress, okay? Um, and then you have the Seven of Wands here in reverse, okay? Um, they... They at one time were defensive about this relationship, but now they're not. Okay, why? Because of this Queen of Pentacles. This is you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They see you as very nurturing, very good with money, and she's the quintessential wife. So they recognize who you are now, 
um they're not fighting it anymore with that seven of of uh, wands in reverse spirit why is this eight of cups here why is this eight of cups here So uh, the Eight of Cups is here because they walked away from you in the past and this is in the position of the blockage. So they see walking away from you as their blockage, right? And then um, here's the Fool in the reverse. They do not want to go off and start anew. They want to be with you. Uh, three of Wands, they are waiting for you. Um, I believe they had a third party in the past and this is why um you know they walked away i actually read them out of order it was the eight of cups because of a third party three of cups full in reverse okay not wanting to start off somewhere new anywhere else and the three of wands okay waiting on you okay so now the emperor spirit why is this emperor card here for taurus's partner spirit show me why is the emperor here for Taurus's partner? Okay, so the emperor is Aries and Taurus, right? Um, this person feels like they are your uh, soulmate with this empress and emperor. Okay, and then um, the lovers here in reverse, they they don't want this to be in this way they know that they turned this relationship upside down okay then you have uh the, i'm doing it again i read it out of out of order the emperor um here is the knight of wands okay so in the past they might have been in and out of your life that's aries leo and sagittarius but they want to put an end to that um because the lovers is in reverse and they want it in the upright okay they're manifesting you with this magician card. This is also an Aries. So you could be dealing with an Aries. You got some heavy Aries energy here. Or you could have heavy Aries energy in your chart. But they're trying to manifest you. Now, uh, let's look at this Queen of Cups, which is the overall energy spirit. Why is this Queen of Cups here? For the overall energy for Taurus's read spirit. Okay. So the Queen of Cups is um, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Doesn't matter the gender. I feel like they have a lot of love for you. Um, they've gotten that. They Queen of Cups is very intuitive. They've gone within, okay? They recognize they have a lot of love for you. They know you're defensive, okay? With this Nine of Wands. But they're standing their ground trying to come into you will of fortune they do not want this cycle to close out i'm gonna get one more spirit why one more yeah need i say more because you're the empress okay and um that's what they want okay so this person uh, has no doubt any longer about who you are to them okay so now i'm gonna get a manifest your soul me card spirit can you show me what would give Taurus the best outcome to this situation with the cards that are out here? And where does the power come from? It comes from within. I can tell you by the cards that you are on your side, you definitely stepped into your power. You, you, you told them, you can kiss my whole ass. Like if you think I'm going to be running after you, you got another thing coming. I'm a Taurus too, so I'm, I'm feeling your energy right now, okay? So uh, I'm going to pick a um, Soul's Journey card, Spirit. Can you show me what Taurus needs to be working on right now, Spirit? Forgiveness. Right now, you are not trying to hear them. Um, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Right now, you're still a little tight. Um, Spirit, can you show me what Taurus's partner needs to be working on? Spirit, can you show me? Show me what Taurus's partner needs to be working on. 
uh, purpose in reverse. So it feels like they're not sure what their purpose in life is. Maybe they're still figuring that out. They could be younger than you. And then blame, all right? So in the past, I feel like this person was always looking for somebody to blame. Um, now I feel like they're taking a long, good look at themselves, all right? Now I'm going to get, um, let's look at what they feel, but they're not saying. Spirit, can you show me what Taurus this person is feeling but not saying, Spirit? What are they feeling but not saying? Thank you, Spirit. If I could pick it up, we'd be in business. I care about you. Staying away from you is the hardest thing I ever had to do. I believe that. I, I think that this caused them to have some serious soul searching and to their own motiv motivations and the things that they were doing. Okay, now I'm going to get a love and romance. I'm going to ask what their true feelings is, what their true intention is, and what is the outcome. And then we'll clarify that. Spirit, show me what their true feelings for Taurus is. Healing family issues. What's their true intention? Okay, um, release your ex and keep an open mind. And what is the outcome? Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to clarify uh, these uh, cards as well. Spirit, why the healing family issues for Taurus's partner? For how they really feel. We talked about this. Okay, so they feel like some type of... Sorry, my... my um. My phone needs to charge. Okay, I should be able to finish. Healing family issues came up. Okay, and with this lovers in reverse, I feel like what they're saying is they know that some healing, whether it was in their childhood, because it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, whether it was something that happened in their childhood or yours, they realize that, um, and if you have children together, then they're talking about your family unit. But some type of healing needs to take place for these lovers to come up in the upright. This lover's card keeps coming out in reverse, okay? And I feel like that's what they want. They want to change the direction of this around, right? Now let's look at this. Keep an open mind and release your ex. Spirit, why is this the combination for their true intentions? One more. One more, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Mm -hmm. So keep an open mind, says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and release your ex. The time has come to clear away your energy. First off, you may not have been the typical person that they dated. Okay, the Empress never is, okay? And then uh, release your ex, okay? So they might have had some situations in their past romantically that was a blockage in this situation or um, that they had a standard of person that they thought that they wanted to be with and then you came into their life and that changed, especially after the errors they made. Uh, Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio could be dealing with that sign, okay? Um, now, um, there, there was definitely secrets here, but I'm feeling that this card is talking about their hidden emotion for you. And then the star card, they see you as their star. They feel divinely tethered to you. Now they got the retreat card. Okay, well, you see there's a couple on this card. Spirit, can you show me why this is uh, the retreat card is here for the outcome, Spirit? Let me get one more, Spirit. Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, they want to retreat uh, with you, okay? They want to put an end to this cycle and start a new one with you. Um, they don't even want uh, to let you rest and heal. They're like, no, because if I do that, she might get away or he might get away. Uh, King of Pentacles, they're trying to match your energy. All right, they want to uh, step into that Emperor role, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is the quintessential husband. They're looking at commitment. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull... Um, the 12 signs and then we're going to close this out spirit if it is an aries 
they want to take a new beginning with you. If it is a Taurus, they're looking to move to common waters with you. Spirit, well, let me go one more. Yeah, because you're the quintessential. Yeah. Okay, so if it's a Gemini, uh, they're uh, obsessed with you. They got the lovers in reverse too, and they don't want to wait to rest and heal. Um, let me get one more. They they feel that you're stuck in hangman position, but they do want another chance. Uh, you need to be careful with this person, though. They're coming up as the devil, and that was uh, Gemini. Um, cancer. Cancer is a player and a cheater. Got the Knight of Wands with the Seven of Swords. Um, if it is a Leo... Um, the, the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, and Sag, right? With the Page of Swords. Um, they're going to come towards you even if you have them blocked and they are stalking you. Okay, if it's a Virgo. Uh, they got true love for you with the Ace of Cups. If it's a, a Libra. Uh, they're not holding back anymore. They got the four of pentacles in reverse. They're coming in. If it is a Scorpio, uh, they see themselves as your spouse with the Hierophant. They're holding out hope. If it is a Sagittarius, um, they are coming in on the next thing, smoking. Does everybody want you? I'm trying to figure this out. Um, if this is a Capricorn... <laughs> Seven of Pentacles, they're uh, looking at the um, situation to see if this has uh, given fruit. So they're they're unsure. If it is uh, an Aquarius, they're stuck in their heads, but they see you as the star, okay? And if it's a Pisces, Pisces is in sleepless nights and depression. Uh, they're broken hearted. Um, but they're going to remain alone, okay, with that hermit card, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. I'm going to get some advice from Spirit. We're going to close this out. Spirit, can I get some advice for my Taurus gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, most important messages they need to know right now, Spirit, for their highest good. And I told you this too, you are so concentrating on your career right now. You're almost unaware of what this person is going through. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys. Um, I just want to say thank you to my returning subscribers for coming to spend a little bit of time with me. And if you're a new viewer and you felt I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment as I would love to have you as part of the Lovely Soul family. And hit the bell so you can be notified when I am uploading. Okay, so I just want to wish y'all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.